Matteo Rategi is the next big thing you need to know about. With 7 goals and 1 assist in just 10 games this season, this striker is taking the Serie A by storm. Matteo Rategi is rapidly becoming a standout player in Italy and from humble beginnings in Argentina to Genoa and now being on absolute fire with Atalanta, come up of a hat-trick against former club in Genoa, his trajectory has been nothing short of remarkable this season. Known for his fierce style and this season showing some lethal finishing, the Tegi's rise in Italian football is a tale of determination, raw talent and chance. But just what makes the Tegi so good? Well, that's what we'll be talking about today. So what's going on everyone? You're listening to Back of the Net here. I hope you're all doing well. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe if you guys haven't already. And let's get into it. Born on April 29th, 1999 in San Fernando, Argentina, Matteo Rotegi has always been a footballer with great potential. His journey, however, took an interesting turn when he chose to represent Italy internationally due to his Italian roots. Standing at 1.86 meters, his physical presence alone is fairly intimidating for defenders, but his footballing intelligence and clinical nature in front of goal has set him apart, especially this season. Rotegi started his football career in Argentina, rising through the youth ranks of River Plate before switching to Boca Juniors. He spent several years on loan at clubs like Estudiantes and Saleres and then eventually he made a move to Tigre. And it was at Tigre where he exploded onto the scene during the 2022 season, finishing as the top scorer of the Argentinian Primera División with 19 goals in 27 appearances. With Italian citizenship in 2023, while doing so well at Tigre, he made his Italian debut scoring in his 16-minute cameo against England and following that up with another goal for Italy Italy just days later, this time against Malta. These performances, plus the numbers he was putting up at Tigre, seeing him get 12 goals in 28 games, that showed he was a good player and the interest from Italian clubs became very noticeable. And despite his success in Argentina, it was his move to Italy in 2023 with Genoa that elevated his career to new heights and Genoa bought him from Tigre for just 16 million euros. In the 2023-24 season, his first season in Europe with Genoa, Matteo Rotegi got three goals in his first six games of Genoa and was looking really, really good. Unfortunately for him, knee problems hindered him from really building a solid run together and admittedly towards the end of the season when he did come back from his knee injuries, he did struggle only scoring one goal in the league in his last 10 games in the Serie A. He finished the season though with nine goals and 31 appearances, which isn't absolutely outstanding, but it is pretty good for a player in his first season of European football. His goals were key in helping Genoa avoid relegation and maintain their place in the Serie A. So, Rotegi was still seen as a pretty successful signing for Genoa and he showed his qualities, particularly with his head, where he won 61% of his aerial duels, making him one of the most dominant forwards in the league in that regard. Genoa leaned on Rotegi's ability to lead the line and cause problems for defenders and he delivered consistently in crucial matches, seeing four out of his seven league goals come against the likes of AC Milan, Lazio, Napoli and Roma. And at the end of the season, I think it's fair to say that he was regarded as a fairly solid Serie A striker. Now, if he could have avoided injuries and stepped up his level, maybe he could get to kind of the upper class level striker in the Serie A. But I think it's fair to say that most Serie A fans considered Rotegi at the time as kind of just a good solid level striker. And although a move was on the cards, it wasn't looking extremely likely until Gianluca Scamacca got injured in preseason for Atalanta and Atalanta were in a situation where now they needed a striker to fill that hole. So Atalanta moved for Matteo Rotegi and he joined in Atalanta in August 2024, seeing Atalanta pay a significant fee of a reported 28 million euros to Genoa, seeing Genoa make a good profit after just one year with Rotegi, and while Rotegi hit the ground running at Atalanta. In his first seven Serie A matches, he's already scored seven goals and got an assist, including a memorable hat-trick against none other than his former team in Genoa in a 5-1 route. This coming after his first two games for Atalanta in the league, where he scored himself three goals. Matteo Rotegi Rotegi is currently averaging a goal every 68 minutes and his shot accuracy of 54% reflects his efficiency in front of goal this season. His role at Atalanta has been crucial in replacing Skamaka and Rotegi's performances have ensured that Atalanta stay competitive in the top four of the Serie A. And beyond his high level goal scoring that he's shown us right now, his link up play, his work rate and his ability to press from the front 
has added a new dimension to Atalanta's attack. He's also still a fairly important member of the Italian national team, even getting an assist against France. And Lategi, having already scored seven goals in all competitions, he should comfortably beat his nine goals of last season. The 25-year-old trajectory right now continues upward and at a rapid pace. And Atalanta fans have every reason to believe that they've signed one of Italy's and potentially, if developed correctly, one of Europe's next big stars. With his blend of physical power, technical skill, and relentless attitude, Matteo Rotegi, if he can keep his head down, keep working, keep scoring, he is making sure his name is one to remember.